Shalom, Shalom. Giving all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakwadash. Give a double honors unto the head apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well with sound doctrine, Shalom, unto the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well, Shalom, Shalom. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect and the hearty Shalom, to the sincere brethren laboring across the four winds of the earth, given diligence to make their calling and election sure, Shalom, Shalom. So this is Brother Ashamath from the Watchman on the Coast Camp out here in San Diego. Back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Lord's will the lessons edifying and reaches the ears of the hopeful elect. And this is breaking news, which came out a couple hours ago. Insider.com, CNN.com, you name it, it's everywhere. We'll go through it as well. And the header of the article reads, A lightning strike near the White House <clears throat> leaves four people in critical condition. I'll read it again. A lightning strike near the White House leaves four people in critical condition. Let's go through the first four paragraphs and grab a couple of precepts and wrap on up. And it reads, four individuals were injured by a lightning strike near the White House Thursday evening. D.C. and fire, D.C. fire and EMS reported two male and two female individuals are in critical condition facing unspecified life-threatening injuries, according to the department. Where were they at? They were found approximately 100 feet away from the statue of Andrew Jackson. Mr. Indian Killer himself, Mr. India Removal Act, the father of the Democratic Party. One of the bloodiest presidents in U.S. history, if not the bloodiest president in U.S. history. He's also on the face of your $20 bill. Let's read this paragraph again. They were found approximately 100 feet away from the statue of Andrew Jackson in Lafayette Square close to 7 p.m., the Washington Post reported. Let's grab a quick precept. This is FNI 3 and 5. The just Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. And they were in the right place at the right time to get judged. And ultimately, this is judgment from the Heavenly Father. You know, to get struck by lightning is a very, very rare event. And you were in the right place at the right time. This is Proverbs 20 and 24. And ultimately, you know, on a deeper level, this is a sign that Yahweh Bashim Yashai is ready to bring judgment because Washington, D.C. on paper is America's capital. We know the real capital of Babylon the Great, you know, is New York City, you know, where everything um, gets influenced from. You know, New York City is the epicenter, you know, of Babylon the Great, you know. Fashion comes into New York, you know, styles, trends, the World Trade Center, you know, so on and so forth, you know. But on paper, D.C. is America's capital. Also, America's military, you know, that's stationed out of D.C. as far as the Department of Defense, you know. Um, you have the White House, uh, so on and so forth. It's one of the three unclean spirits. We'll get that a little later. Let's go into... Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? And they were in the right place at the right time to get struck by lightning. Let's look at the odds of being struck by lightning. Odds of being struck. Yep. About 40 million lightning strikes hit the ground in the United States. But the odds of being struck by lightning in a year are less than one in a million. And almost 90% of all lightning strikes victims survive. So that's one in a million chance you get struck by lightning. You were just there at the right time to be the one in a million nigga that got struck by that shit, man. And that was judgment from the Heavenly Father, you know. Let's go to the article. And let's get this last paragraph. Victor Maggiolo, Victor Maggiolo, Vito, Vito Maggiolo, that has to be an Italian name, Vito Maggiolo, ends in a vowel, definitely sounds Italian, Vito Maggiolo, a spokesperson for the DC Fire EMS Department, said Secret Service officers and the United States Park Police witnessed the lightning strike, one in a million chances of getting struck by lightning, 
and immediately began to render aid to the four victims, which is very critical in helping with survivability. And, you know, it's a, it's a statement right here that most, like, most lightning victims, uh, lightning strike victims, it's like it survive. So, you know, who knows what happens, you know? Ultimately, it's up to you how Bashimia Shai, but you still got struck by it. And ultimately, it's a sign that Yahweh Bashim Yashai is ready to strike and bring judgment to Babylon the Great. You know, because DC on paper is the capital. We know the real capital be, to be New York City, you know, through the spirit. <clears throat> this is Nahum. And what are they doing in New York City? They're getting people ready for nuke drills, man. You know, they're getting people ready for the destroying wind, the real storm, when those ICBMs hit this place. You know? This is Nahum in the first chapter. The Most High is jealous. And the Lord Yahabashimia shall revenge it, and the Lord revenge it. I'm again I'm gonna start again from the top. The most high is jealous, and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth and is furious, the Lord Yahabashimia Shai will take vengeance on his adversaries. The adversaries of Israel, starting with the tabernacles of Edom, Amalek, you know. And then the heathen, and then two thirds of our own people, because they don't want to listen. Nahum 1 and 2, again from the top, the Most High is jealous, the, and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth and is furious, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai will take vengeance on his adversaries. He reserveth wrath for his enemies. Nahum 1 and 3, the Lord, is, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. Who's the wicked? Pursuant to Malachi 1, Job 9 and 24, we know that to be the tabernacles of Edom. Esau, Edom. The so-called white man, beginning with their elite banking families who are actually running and pulling the strings on the central banks, you know, news, media, television, the pharmaceutical industry, you know, the abortion clinics, everything. Nahum 1 and 3, the Lord Yahweh Bashim is slow to anger and great in wrath and great in power. The Lord Yahweh Bashim is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. Esau, Edom. The Lord Yahweh Shai had his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. And what did they get hit with? The storm, clouds, and ultimately lightning. And what's Babylon the Great going to get hit with? That destroying wind. You know, Jeremiah 51. And rightfully so. Let's go to Nahum 1 and 2 and 3 in the NLT. The Lord Yahweh Shai is slow to get angry, but his power is great. And he never lets the guilty go unpunished. And Esau, Edom, you haven't been punished for, your, for, like it, for all that you've done. You know? That's why uh, Babylon the Great is known as the virgin daughter of Babylon. Because this place hasn't been touched. You know? This place hasn't been touched by, you know, the, uh, the cold swords of war, man. You know? Nobody stepped foot in American soil. You know, since the, you know, the French and the British conflicts, man, you know. But soon to come, it's going to be some smoke in the city. And this is a sign that Yahweh Bashim Yashai is ready to strike, you know. Because, you know, what's headquartered in the DMV, the Department of Defense, you know, the Pentagon, the White House, you know, so on and so forth. Let's keep on going. <clears throat> Nahum 1 and 2, again from the top, the Lord is slow to get angry, but his power is great, and he never lets the guilty go unpunished. He displays his power in the whirlwind and the storm. Billowing clouds are the dust beneath his feet. I'm going to get 2 and 3. And it reads the Lord's anger against Nineveh. And what's America, the modern day Nineveh? Yahweh Shai is a jealous power filled with vengeance and rage he takes revenge on all who oppose him and continues to rage against his enemies and what have you done iconoclasm blasphemy in the name of the heavenly father his only begotten son his tabernacle his people you know painting him to be you know um in in a robe half naked touching adam's hand you know adam's half naked completely off cesare borgia you know the scriptures say uh, unto the wicked, who are you to declare my statutes? Psalms 50 and 16. 
you know, you swear in the Bible, you know, when you swear people in the office, which you're not supposed to do anyway, and then you go against the scriptures, man. Nehum 1 and 3, and it reads, The Lord, Yahweh Shemash is slow to get angry, but his power is great, and he never lets the guilty go unpunished, but displays his power in the whirlwind and the storm, and the storm, the billowing clouds are the dust beneath his feet, and that's what those people got hit with. Right next to the Andrew Jackson statue. Kahala Yahweh Bashim Yashai. This is Revelation 16 to 13. And it reads, And I saw three unclean spirits, like frogs, come out of the mouth of the dragon. That's America and the military, you know, which is headquartered in Washington, D.C. You know, and America has more military bases than any other country all over the world. A thousand something and counting, you know. 800 to 1,000 better yet, you know. They have China surrounded, you know, in the Southeast Asia, in, in Southeast Asia, with missiles pointed at China, you know. And America hasn't been touched by war, you know. That's why it's called the Virgin Daughter of Babylon. And out of the mouth of the beast, London, you know, which, which controls the finances on a worldwide scale. All these uh, elite families, you know, the Rothschilds, you know, most of them are based out of London and England. The Rothschilds being the one that comes to mind first, you know. They own the central banks. You know, what are the central banks looking to do? They're looking to push that, they're looking to push that device. What's Nancy Pelosi doing out there in Taiwan? Well, she's trying to corner the market for the, for the, uh, the microchips, man, you know. And if that was a regular person and she wasn't Speaker of the House, she'd be arrested for insider trading, man. You know, just speaking outside the issue of the, uh, the elite banksters, but just, you know, banging, banging the point home. Because the elite banksters, eventually through those central banks, they're going to push digital currency, which they're pushing right now, down people's throat until the, the point of the MOTB. And out of the mouth of the false prophet, that's the Vatican, you know, Rome. You know, the Roman Catholic Church. And I did a, a search. It says 1.36 uh, billion people within the planet uh, prescribe or subscribe, better yet, subscribe, not prescribe, subscribe, prescribe, same thing because, you know, you're getting fed uh, wicked philosophies. You know, you're, subscri you're prescribing to uh, a physician that won't heal you, you know, in, in uh, Cesare Borgia, better yet, you know. But they subscribe to um, Catholicism, 1.36 billion people. And I did a search for how many people, you know, subscribe to Christianity. It says 2.6 billion. And there's only, there's only 7.8 billion people in the country and in the, in the world. 7.8 billion people in the world. It's like it. Now, if you do the math on that, that's 4 billion people almost. Out of almost 8 billion. That's over half the world's population. Now, those numbers may mis be misconstrued. They're most likely not accurate, you know, but that's just a lot of people who subscribe to either Catholicism or Christianity. You know, the most popular religion, you know, combined because Christianity is nothing but a baby of the Roman Catholic Church, the false prophet. Let's, let's read this again, Revelation 16 and 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, D.C., the military, you know, the strongest military in the world, you know, that's got more military branches anywhere, you know. For the past 150 years, you know, nobody wanted to mess with America. The past 100 years, we'll, we'll take it like that. The past 100 years, nobody wanted to mess with America, you know what I'm saying? Especially after they dropped those bombs on, uh, on, uh, on Japan, you know, Fat Man and Skinny Boy, you know. Nobody was messing with America, man, you know, until recently because of nuclear capability. Those small countries are starting to say I'm strong, you know, let the weak say I'm strong and out of the mouth of the beast because those rich elite banking families are mostly based in London and England, you know, who are funding the central banks and they own most of the central banks, you know, they own our central bank, you know, the IRS, you know out of the mouth of the false prophet Vatican you know Roman Catholicism 
and Christianity, you know, Lutheran, Baptist, Pentecostal, you know, Seventh Day Adventist, they're nothing but a baby of the Roman Catholic Church, the false prophet. Revelation 16 and 14, for they are the spirit of devils working miracles. The spirit of devils lying, deceiving. America says, I'm going to go to your country and liberate it. And by the time they leave, they leave your, your country looking like a Call of Duty, you know, uh, a Call of Duty scene. One of the, one of the uh, levels or one of the stages of Call of Duty, if you play Call of Duty, I never really play it, but one of the, uh, like a scene from Call of Duty, better yet, I put it like that. And they take half your shit. You know, they take the riches out of that country, the gold, the silver. They come there with the purpose of taking something, man, you know, and they use the excuse of liberating the people. They do it for gold, oil and drugs, man. They're over there in the Middle East because of the poppy, you know, or oil, you know. Now, <clears throat> the central banks, what are they looking to do? The central banks are looking to implement the MOTB, you know? And that's done by the wicked elite who are out of London, England for the most part, you know? And you have the false prophet. What's he doing? Pushing, pushing Cesare Borgir, Virgin Mary, man. False doctrine, you know? Broken sisters that can hold no water. Revelation 16 and 14, for they are the spirit of devils working miracles. And eventually, you know, it's going to lead to the ultimate deception. You know, the MOTB, man, you know. And they're going to use, you know, all three of those aspects, you know, because you're going to see, you know, uh, churches pushing it. They're going to use military force. And, you know, the central banks are going to be saying, hey, this is the only way that you can, you know, buy and sell. Revelation 16 to 14, for they are the spirit of devils. They are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the great. I'm going to start again from the top. My reading lately. Revelation 16 to 14, for they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of the Most High Almighty. You know, Armageddon, you know, Armageddon, better yet, you know. In the valley of Yahweh Shapat. This is Revelation 16 and 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. Lest he walk naked and they see his shame. That's why you have to stay watching, you know. Because Yahweh Shai, you know, he's coming back for the men that have the garment. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding who are clothed, you know, with that garment, you know. Staying occupied in prophecy. Next point, Revelation 16 to 16. He, and he gathered them together into a place in, called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. You know, Revelation 16 to 16. And he gathered them together in a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. You know? And that's where the final battle is going to occur. You know? In the form of in the valley of Yahweh Shapat. You know, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Shapat means judgment. All those nations, including, you know, the American army, are going to be gathered there to fight each other. And they're going to stop fighting each other and they're going to try to fight Yahweh Shai and lose terribly. You know? And what's Yahweh Shai going to come on? The fathership. Behold, he come up with clouds. You know? What do you see in the background? Clouds right there. You know, lightning striking. This is 2nd Ezra 9 and 5. And it reads, For like... As all that is made in the world hath the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And you can see the end is manifest by what's going on in the world, man. You know, what they just do today. I've got to be careful with my wordage on this. I'll just put it on the screen and let you read it. I'll give it 10 seconds. Don't play no, fo don't play no footage. Nope. You can see right here, though. Because if they play footage, I'll get a copyright strike. By the way, the footage didn't play if you're watching a YouTube. 
know, they like to watch us. You can see right here by what's on the screen, you know, the monkey business, man. They're about to have another lockdown because of the monkey business. What do you have people doing on uh, TikTok and Instagram and other social media outlets? They're going to the grocery stores and showing pictures of empty shelves, you know. You got um, China ready to launch, you know, uh, missiles. They're practicing, uh, you know, having military drills better yet, you know, to attack and invade Taiwan pretty soon. You have Russia over there basically, you know, invading uh, the Ukraine and they have like, I would say 50% of the country occupied or something like that. And, and you have other countries ready to uh, buck up against Babylon the Great because of what? Because of nuclear capability. But before, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, they weren't doing that, man. You know? And that's how you know we're in those times. Second Ezra 9 and 6, and it reads, even so the times also of the highest had plain beginnings. Also, let's bang this point home. Second Ezra 9 and 5, for like as all the for like as all that is made in the world hath the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Another way that we're telling we're able to tell better yet that the end is manifested because the beast is starting to speak like a dragon. The UN's like we're declaring war on anybody who's speaking out against our agenda. You know? Uh, the Apostle Gabar, um, he brought it up. I think it's, I think it's the term uh, plausible deniability. You know, it's like if it's not the right wordage. But I think that's it. Plausible deniability, you know? That's what they're doing. Basically d people and punking people, you know, who are weak-minded into you know, into, into bowing down, man, you know, and pretty soon they're going to start using force, man, you know, locking people up, you know, so on and so forth, you know, coming down with great wrath, man, that's what the scriptures say, right, we're in those times, another way that we know what that we're, another way that we're knowing we're in those end times, man, let's keep it going, let's wrap on up, let's get a couple more precepts and wrap on up. I done enough talking. This is Second Ezra nine and six. And it reads, "Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings, in wonders and powerful works, and endings in effects and signs." Well, this is a sign, man. You know. And people got struck right by Andrew Jackson statue, man. Call all your halba shimmy outside. The Lord is beautiful, man. You know. Right by the Indian killer statue, man. You know. This is uh, Second Ezra 9 and 6 again. Even so, the times also the highest had plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. Another sign, the gathering. You know, the house of David. You know, brothers waxing mightier and mightier. You know, and you see those people who are in the house of Saul's spirit, they're waxing weaker and weaker, man. Leaking oil, car ain't running right, check, check engine light on, man. You know, Teaching damnable heresy after damnable heresy after damnable heresy, man. Another sign that we're in the end times, you know. There shall be scoffers. If you go into that word scoffers, one of the definitions is false teachers. You know. The pestilence, you know. Come on, man. We're here, man. And call all you how about Shimmy shot. Last precept. This is Psalm 7 and 11. It reads, the most high judgeth the righteous. And the Most High is angry with the wicked every day. And he will not at all acquit the wicked. You know? So I just wanted to touch on this article. Uh, Lord's will you find the lesson edifying. I'm going to close on out right here. You know? Or else I'm going to just keep on talking. <laughs> so um, I'm going to close on out right here. Uh, Lord's will you were edified. And in closing, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rechach Wadash. Give a double honors unto the head apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well with sound doctrine. Shalom unto the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well. Shalom. Shalom. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect and the hearty shalom to the sincere brethren laboring across the four winds of the earth, giving diligence to make their calling and election sure. Shalom. Shalom. And last but not least, a hearty shalom to the men of valley and the DTA camps, first camps I ever heard the truth from. Isaiah 62, verses 6 through 7. Ye that make mention of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai, keep not silence and give him no rest day or night to jerusalem is a praise in the earth 
And until next time, next lesson, Shalom. DTA, Wa, Ababa, Ba. Soon, 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 soon. Shalom.